Good day viewers, welcome to Cybertech Karina. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Zimbra. Okay. Um, firstly, uh, you go to Contabo VPS and you choose one. So to install Zimbra, uh, there are requirements that we need to follow. Uh, the minimum of, you need to have a get a VPS that is a minimum of um, uh, 12 to 16 gigabyte RAM minimum, okay? Uh, so, I already purchased mine, so, but I just want to show you how to do it for those who wants to do. Uh, this one is also okay, depending on what you want to use your server for, all right? But don't buy anything uh, that is less than 12 to uh, 16 gigabyte RAM, okay? So let's say I choose this one for $26, but you can choose even the $8 or anything. But like I said, it all depends on what you want to use it for. So let's say this one. So when you click it, leave everything the way it is. The image, you choose Ubuntu. If you don't see it in the popular here, you can go to the OS. You're going to see it, okay? So when you click it, choose... Um, 20 uh, the ubuntu 22.04 that's what we need for the video so you go to configure then uh, you scroll down so leave everything the way it is and scroll down then you just uh, put your password here all right so when you put your password it's going to show you where to pay all right so Another thing we need again, it's a domain name. So I bought mine also from uh, Namecheap. You can get yours. So you're going to log into a dashboard like this. So you go to the domain list. So this is a place for the domains where you, that you already bought. This is the one I bought, cybertech-arena. Uh, so you go to manage, then under manage, you go to DNS. So as you can see, these are the records you need to create. Uh, so I created uh, a record uh, just like this. I created a TST record. I also created a, a DMARC record. So at the end of the video, you're going to create a DKIM record. So I'll show you how to do that. All right. So once you get this four record, don't worry about it. You can check my blog i'll drop the link also you get all these these things so you just need to replace your own details like here just put your ip and all that so you need to log into your ssh client okay so i have pudi you get the ip of your vps and you paste it here you go to open so um your this thing uh, if you use contabo your login uh, username is root so you hit enter then you paste your password uh, you just need to right click and you hit enter so as you can see we're logged in let me clear it so so it's very visible to you we need to set the host name and host file you use this uh, command um here where i put the domain name your domain name uh, you just change it to your domain name. So it's supposed to be mail dot uh, your domain uh, name dot com. So you hit enter. Uh, we need to edit the etc host file. So you use this command also nano etc slash host and you hit enter. So what we need to do here is um, we need to add our, our VPS IP uh, here and also our host name, okay? And also our host name. So let's say if you go down here after here. So, so you change this number there to your own IP. So I'll put my own IP. So 
so here you just need to put your domain name anywhere you see i put the your domain.com you put your domain there what we added uh, our ip contable vps ip address uh, the ip then mail dot your domain name dot com after that you check this command uh, host name dash f let's see if everything it's okay so like you can see here what we said is what is here mail.cybertech-arena so yours will show your own um set domain name we need to install the required tools that we need um, so you use this command also uh, apt install net tools wget coil on zip tags dns uh, suits and that's why so it's going to install everything you need so uh it's done installing uh, let me clear the screen so it's on the up so uh here we need to uh we need to download zimbra ose which is the open source edition we need to change directory to the opt directory so you hit enter i'm in my opt directory so you're going to use this uh i'll get you the link so i'll also include it in my blog so you just uh get everything there because i tried also i was waiting for the um i was waiting for the product key and it wasn't sent i wrote a uh, zimbra a lot of times and they told me they were having issues so i couldn't wait any longer um, so i needed to make this video so you just uh, hit enter so you let it install and do it in so our installation is done when you ls so you can see we have the file here this uh z and 10 ubuntu uh 95 and all that so you need to cd into that directory so with this command you need to cd change directory cd means chain directory you change directory into that uh, directory so now you need to run the installer so to run the installer we we'll use a command uh, sudo uh, dash uh, installer dot sh so this is the command uh, installer dot sh so you hit enter also so it's going to start uh, installing so when it gets to this point where it's going to ask you do you agree with the terms of the software license you use y so we need to install our repository so this Zimbra repository, use Zimbra repository. So we use yes. So it says install Zimbra, EDAP, uh, LDAP. You choose yes also. Why? Install Zimbra logger. Yes, we need that. Uh, Zimbra MTA, yes. So DNS catch, I don't need that, I just hit enter. Um, Zimbra Ascent, yeah. Install Zimbra store, whatever, I, I don't know. Um, install Apache, yes. uh zimbra mem card zimbra spells yes uh zimbra mem card yes um, zimbra proxy yes the system would be modified continue yes you go to yes create domain name so just use that so i just hit enter 
So we need to set the password. So we press uh, seven. So we need to set our admin password. So let's go to four. So it's going to give you an option uh, where you can choose or you can set your own uh, password. So I'll just, uh, let me choose mine. So, so I set, I press R, so you press uh, A to apply the changes, you click on yes. So yes. So at this point, the admin email is created. So you need to also copy your admin email and you need to save it somewhere because you'll be needing that also. So when the installation is done, um, you go to the your browser to check the admin console log into your admin console with mail.yourdomain.com uh, then uh, the port is 7071 so your username your admin username is admin at your domain .com. then your password is the password you choose when we we're making the installation so I'll just put mine. So you sign in. As you can see, here's my admin dashboard. So our installation went fine. Uh, so this is the admin dashboard. So if you also want to log into your the web mail, so you just use the mail.yourdomain.com only. So let's say you want to log into the web mail part of it. So your username also, it's also your, the user that you have. So for me, the only user I have now is still my admin at cybertech-arena.com. So you put your password also. Sorry, I made a mistake. So you put your password. So as you can see, our main boss is working fine. All right, so this is the only user we have. So if you want to create a user of uh, let's say you want to create a user in Zimbra you want to create another user let's say I want to create some users I'll just uh, use this command uh, let me clear it so, so if you want to create a user you can use this command so SU, which is a uh, switch user, Zimbra, you hit enter. So you're in the Zimbra uh, directory. Uh, so you can just use something like this. This commands, I'll be leaving it also in my uh, blog. So what you need to change there is, let's say whatever you want to use. So I'll just use user one. So let's say my domain.com. So I'll just change it. So if you want to use your name, you can put your name at your domain.com. So I'll just use my domain.com, cybertech-arena. So whatever password you want to use, so I'll just leave it something simple just for this thing. So, so whatever name you want to put here, you can put it. So I'll just leave mine like that. 
and you hit enter. Sorry, I didn't add my dot com. I, why, why do I always forget that? So you want to add a user, you just uh, your, do, your domain, so dot com. Then you hit enter, so it's going to create. So you, we have the user and the password, whatever display name you want to be displayed, you put it, you want your name there, so it's already created right so let's create another user also which is a uh, user 2 and we follow the same procedure so just like i told you to create user 2 again we just need to the same procedure so this one is user 2 so i'll just do my own user 2 dot my domain dot com at my domain dot com cyber tech dash arena so i'll just leave the same password you can cho choose your own password all right so you can this display name you can also put there so everything is okay so i'll just uh, hit enter also So it's also created like you see. So if you want to check the whole uh, account that is created, that you already created, you just uh, use this command. ZMPROV-LGAA. So it's going to show you all accounts created. Like you can see, we created user one, user two, and these other ones were automatically created. So here, um, we to create your DKIM record, which finalizes it, you just uh, use the command sudo dash zimbra. You get into the zimbra directory from your VPS. Then you're going to paste all this command, which I'll be leaving also in my blog. Uh, here also, you just change your own name, whatever your domain is, that's what you need to put here. So here's my domain. So it's going to bring out all this for you. So here, you just need to copy from here. After the side where you see enter into DNS, just copy from here to here to the domain key, all right? So you go to your uh, name chip. So like you see mine, here's my own record. So you're going to create a TST record like I did here, and you're also going to paste it here. Then for this part, what you're going to paste there is this other part. So you just copy from here, everything inside the bracket from here down to here. That's what you're going to copy. So you paste it on this side also and you save. So you also go to this part, this uh, MX toolbox and check if everything is okay. Like you can see my DNS record is published, my DMARC and all that everything is okay after you've done that you just need to uh, you're already in the uh, folder so if you're not already in the zimbra folder you just use the su command and go there and you just uh, use the zimbra zm control restart to restart zimbra server so when it's done restarting you can log into your web interface of zimbra this is my admin panel so you can log into your web interface and send a test email so i did a test email to gmail uh, as you can see it went through look at the domain that sent it and like this is it user 2 which i created in the video at cybertech arena so the video is already so long so i'll be ending the video here and if need be, if you need any part of the video, or if you're getting any error, error drop it in the comment section. All right, I'll do my best to fix it as soon as I can. But if you want it urgently, or you want a private com communication or a private group, you can also subscribe to our Digital Guidian membership plan. Thank you. See you on the next one. Peace out.